special greetings to you. Today we are about to witness a choppy test at low temperature or actually at minus 40 degrees. Among our apparatus will be acetone, carbon dioxide and other things. So for now I'm going to ask you to listen carefully and to see how we're going to perform our test. So let's go. So I'm having two sets of impacts. So I'm placing them on my plate here, which is gonna help me to be doing the the test. All right. So they all having a V notch. They're having a V notch with the same uh, the same shape or the same geometry. So there you go. But the first that was the first uh that was the first set this is the second set okay so after doing that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put them and acetone so that is acetone there so, so that is acetone
don't get. So check, check them out. Check them out. But it's like ISIS, can see. Name, check. Check. See, you can see the ice. So man, this thing can burn you. This thing can burn you. So now that the ice has been collected, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to put this one there so that it can also reduce the temperature and then you know so that you know every any object which is in contact of another object with different temperature, what happens is that try to communicate in terms of the temperature. So everything needs to have kinda the same temperature so that we're not gonna have any inconvenience. We're not gonna have any inconvenience. You can see I put even my my thing that's gonna be helping me to uh, uh, to fetch the to fetch our our samples in the mixage as well. So here is here are the ices. Okay. An allowance of two degrees in both specs as me as ISO. So check now, it's at minus 40.4 degrees. So we're gonna keep it for 10 minutes, alright? So we're gonna be counting together 10 minutes and then after that we're gonna pursue with oh. so now it has been there for 10 minutes what we're gonna do is we're gonna perform the test so now we're gonna go for it okay. cool so we're gonna do this now that the guys are testing what will be collected will be the absorbed joules or energy the lateral expansion which will be part of the expression of ductility which go, goes hand in hand with uh, the percentage of ductility as well or malleability Now that the tests have been performed, what you see in front of you is one of the tested pieces. So we got our results. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare those results with what the spec says, and then from there we're gonna see if the material is okay to go ahead with the construction of either our ship or our bridge or whatever it might be. So it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you, and uh, I hope that you guys liked it. And uh, for now, I'm going to ask you to take care of yourself. And uh, remember, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Because you're going to be sharing a lot of stuff which uh, will be beneficial for all of us. So I hope that uh, I'm going to catch you on the next video. So cheers. Bye.